today I'm here with Frank Grotto, my senior student. What we're going to show you is um, a drill that we use. And as you can see, Frank has focus mitts on. <clears throat> you know, a lot of the other videos that you've seen where we've done demonstrations with the Aikido and stuff like that, some of the other uh, combative concept stuff, you see punches that get thrown out and they're not 100% retracted back, they're not fast, you know, fast out, fast coming back. Um, there's reason for that, okay? And the reason is, you know, just like what a lot of people say, like the rule of thumb is you gotta, you gotta learn how to crawl before you can walk, walk before you can run. You know, if we start teaching you guys hand deflections off of somebody throwing a fast jab, you're never gonna understand that distance and that timing thing that's involved with that. So that's why you see a lot of punches that are thrown this way, especially in the Aikido world, the traditional Aikido world, you'll see people throw hands out like that and it just stays out there and then the Aikidoka does magical things to that. Um, with us, it's a part of the training from beginner steps to intermediate to advanced students. You have to learn how to get the timing and the distance down before you could actually have somebody throw a fast punch. Otherwise, uh, you're gonna get hit in the face. You know, it's like if, here's a really good example. Uh, you know, any of you guys ever played fast pitch baseball? Do you remember the first time you ever played fast, if you ever played baseball where from day one, you never picked up a bat, you never threw a baseball, and you instantly went to fast pitch baseball. I'm sure if you, somebody ever did that, I'm sure you'd get the shit scared out of you when you got a, a ball coming at you at you know, 75, 85 miles an hour, and you've never done that ever in your life. It's kind of the same thing with the hand deflections with somebody that's doing quick punch and pull back you know, techniques. So that's why we do this where this, this punch happens this way and it retracts a little bit. Today you're gonna to see something a little bit different. But what we wanna show you is the basic fundamental skills that we teach our people here on how to properly strike. So when we do a focus pad drill, we do it by a number system, okay? And we have eight basic strikes with, uh, with hand strikes. We're gonna leave two of them out because the last two are elbow strikes. But we're gonna go through the first six, okay? And we count them out as numbers. So instead of saying, you know, right jab, left cross, right body, left body, right uppercut, left uppercut, we would do it one, two, three, four, five, six. And the reason why I put it as a number count, okay, is so the student can internalize that a lot easier. And the guy that's working with you, your training partner with the pads, once you really start getting quick and good at this, what happens at that point is that once you've internalized that practice and you're fast, you're, you're precise with your striking, then your partner can start calling off two, six, one, three, five, two, uh, four, four, five, one, and then you can start switching it up and then you can see how well your uh, hand-eye coordination and your memory is and how fast you can fire off those, those strikes with given a specific number. We're not gonna show that today, but we're gonna show the basic striking with the focus pads, but what we are gonna show you is we're gonna show you how to use your hand deflections within this exercise. So when you have your, once you have your focus pad work done, you know, you're doing your, your six strikes, then Frank is gonna shoot four punches out of me and I'm gonna show various types of hand deflections. We're gonna show it at a slow pace and then we're gonna show it at a, at a quicker pace. And we're gonna show some different variations of that, okay? So let's get going. So the first thing that we're gonna do right now is brings up the pads and I'm gonna show the combination of the first six. So it's right, left, Right, left, right, left. Okay, so from a number standpoint, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And if you notice, every time that I'm striking, I'm pulling back as the next hand comes out, but my guard is up. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. Every time I throw punches, right away, I'm right back to here. I'm back at the guard position right away. You always want to protect yourself. So when you're throwing punches, right away, I'm right here. And body, body, uppercut, uppercut. My hands are up the whole entire time. Also for good reason, because when he starts throwing these punches out for me to do hand deflections, if my hands are down the whole time and he just starts firing these things out at me, one, two, three, four, I'm not gonna be ready for it. Chances are, I'm gonna eat, submit. So, once again, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? The other two were your elbow strikes. We'll show you that just so you can see how they're done. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Okay? Again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? We left the elbow strikes out just so you guys can get the basic six. Then you can see the hand deflections. So now we're going to do the hand deflections incorporated within this. Then we're going to show you the hand deflections without the striking pads. You're still going to use the striking pads. We're going to show the, the deflection that way. And then we'll show it the deflections without any gloves, period. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. So you have Ukanagashi, Suriyake. Ukanagashi, Suriyake. Okay? A variation of that would be Ukanagashi, Suriyake, Kiriyake, Suriyake. Ukanagashi, Suriyake, Kiriyake, Suriyake. Okay? Or Ukanagashi, Suriyake, Kiriyake, Kiriyake. Okay? So pattern work again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Okay? Again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. That was a little bit different. I went to the outside instead of the inside. One more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ups. Yeah. So you can see right now, nothing gets edited. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One more. Tricky, isn't it? It's fast to get that time down. Slow it down. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Okay. Now without the pet, or actually, just show the hand deflections. So, one, two, three, four. If you extend this out too far, it's gonna be hard to bring this back. So you want this one, two, three, four. What you don't wanna do is one, two, three, four. You don't wanna do that. You wanna keep this in line with your body. So one, two, three, four. The other one, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So as you can see, we kind of sped it up a little bit. Now without the gloves, with the gloves, it kind of, one thing the friend notices is that when you're doing this quick, especially when you're coming with that punch and you're hitting the glove, he's noticed that the glove actually starts to slide off his hand. When you're going really fast, it kind of tends to cause a problem because then you don't have the firm grip on the glove and then the timing aspect gets washed out. So now you can see this done without gloves, so we're not going to do the striking on that. We're going to just show you the hand deflections from there. So I one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Slow down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? The other one. One, two, three, four. 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 And the last one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, working those hand inflections with the striking drill, what does that do for you with your training? It builds what we've called, a hundred times we've said in other videos, it's called ramp, rapid arm movement. As you can see, I'm kind of winded. It takes a lot out of you, especially when someone's coming at you, no gloves, fast fists, you miss, you be paying a visit to the dentist. It's not gonna be fun. So that's your hand-eye coordination with your hand deflections. It's also your timing, okay? If you had no idea on how to do this off of a fast jab, or one fast jab with that hand, right? You're gonna be like, what's going on, what's going on? You're gonna miss your timing. You know, here you can move quick, right? Fast. You can move quick, okay? But it's all about that. If he just throws a hand out there and says, that's basic movement, one more time. That's basic movement. That's basic. 
You have to be able to understand this to be able to understand that. Okay? So that's our uh, video for today. Focus pad work, the six basic strikes, and then work your uh, take sabaki into it, your hand inflections, the ukenagashi and the suriage, the ukenagashi and suriage, kiriage to suriage, or ukenagashi suriage, kiriage to kiriage. Or you can just do ukenagashi, 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 suriage the whole entire time. Whatever works for you, build it up, see where it goes, play around with it. You know, don't horse play around with it, but play around with it. See, you know, See if you can build your rapid arm movement up. This is a great drill. And for a lot of IQ people that do not practice hand deflections, this, in my opinion, I mean, this is, this is essential. I mean, come on, let's get real. I mean, I love Aikido. The traditional stuff, as much as I talk shit about it, I still love it. The only problem with it is, it's not really practical. I mean, when somebody throws a Yoko Minuchi or Shomenuchi or, or Menski to the face and you just see people grab that shit right out of, right out of thin air, Come on. It's just like the whole touchless Aikido thing where people sit there and do this and they go flying across the room. That shit is not, that doesn't work. It's not real. There has to be contact. You have to make contact with somebody in order to make an Aikido technique actually work. So, that concludes our video. I'm Lenny Sly, Frank Imperato. We're here at the Road Warrior Training Compound here in Schaumburg, Illinois. You're watching the Road Warrior channel on YouTube. Um, like, subscribe, share the video.